Super glue is incredibly strong, but when mixed with other things, it can be made even stronger. If you mix it with bicarb or baking soda, it will instantly set and become much, much stronger. If you mix it with sand, it can set as hard as cement. Adding tissue paper will make the strongest paper mache you've ever seen. Stirring in ash can make it a super strong joint. Let's see which one of these is the strongest. So, we've got them glued up, but which will be the strongest bond? My money is on this one here, um, the bicarb, because it does some crazy reaction with the super glue that actually makes it dry instantly. And that's the main reason that people use this hack. Um, the next run up, potentially the ash, because that does something similar. Although from here, and I'll bring the camera around, you can see that it's created like a little cave of super glue ash cave. So I don't know how good the connection is on that one. I think the tissue, Good contender, but I don't think it's going to be as strong as this one. And the sand, has it made something like a cement consistency? Who knows? I reckon they will all, oh, this is falling over. I reckon they will all be stronger than just super glue on its own. Let's get the scales out and let's see which one can take the most force. I'm going to try and pull from the same spot each time, roughly there, just above where the threads start to try and make it fair each time. Let's give it a go. Scale is zeroed. Not very good. I think that was, I think that was like 990 that did. That one's have done it. Let's go on to the next one. I've gone to the ash next because uh, that is the, ne I think that'll be the next weakest one based on how it's looking down there. And let's start pulling. Oh, already better than the super glue on its own. Four, two, seventy, I think that got to. That one is done. Onto the tissue paper, let's zero that. Let's start pulling, what do we think? Oh, past the ash. Starting to crack. Whoa, oh, that was up to 1200, 12 kilos. That's strong. Right, sand. Interesting, it really interesting to see what this one will do. Right, in a similar position, and off we go. Oh, I don't think this is gonna do as well. There we go, I thought that was on like five. Now, the real contender, the one that's got it all to lose. Bicarb or baking soda. Let's put it in the position. Let's give it a go. Oh, dude. Oh, that didn't do very well at all. Like just less than four kilos, so. Oh, but interestingly, what was the wood that broke? I was quite surprised by that result, so I went back, retested it again, and as I expected, I must have done something wrong on the first time because the bicarb absolutely smashed it, almost 17 kilos.